G'day viewers, it's Michael here again and welcome back to Single Racer. And now, in my last video, I talked specifically about how I thought that the Shaders patch, along with Soul, together applied into Content Manager, have brought a, a Seto Corsa so far forward into the modern era of sim racing, given that a Seto Corsa is now five years old. But in the last few previous versions of Soul, they've always recommended that you run the recommended version of uh, the shaders patch as well, just to make sure that it's all running together smoothly. And so let me show you the recommended version here. But what happened was when I updated to the the final or the current release soul, I was getting, especially on this track, the Nordschleife, I was getting these strange RGB color uh, variations where the, the grass or the or the trees would slowly change colors between the three RGB color bands. But then I found out that the shaders patch was introducing a new technique for the tire smoke, which uh, I've complained about for ages with that horrible kind of puffy gray cloud, uh, clouded smoke when I tried to drift. And so I thought, well, if I'm getting this RGB error anyway, I may as well upgrade. So I've upgraded to the latest version here, as you can see, and um, it's spectacular in the sense that it not only introduced the extra or shall we say exaggerated drift type smoke, which I always wanted, but also they've added um, the uh, grass effects or enhanced the grass around the tracks to make it look quite spectacular and um, Gamer Muscle did a, a particular video on this and made me aware of this. And so here we arrive at today's video because a few videos back I drove this incredible Porsche. It's the RSR Porsche that you get with Kunos but it's been updated to the 2018-2019 version and I absolutely love the sound of this car. But just before we go hot lapping, let me just cover off a few housekeeping items about specifically about this video. Now the first is that I'm running uh, what is called the winter mod for um, the Nordschleife. But if you check out uh, Ferrari Man 601's videos lately, he's running a winter type effect, which is probably part of um, the content manager as well. I'm guessing here, I've never done it, but uh, it shows or implies proper snow. Whereas to me, this one should be called uh, more the autumn mod because it's just basically the trees without the leaves on them. But the reason that I want to show this off is because it shows quite a distance into the um, into the hills of the Nordschleife and shows off this grass and the effects really, really well. And so this is where we get to a couple of the housekeeping bits because my channel tends to follow uh, a set formula similar to Ferrari Man in that what I do is whether I'm hot lapping or racing, I'll show one view in VR and then one uh, external camera view but it, but essentially it's a standard kind of view and I might throw in a few uh, highlights from other cameras just to break it up a bit. But now given that this uh, particular video is about the grass effects that um, Soul and uh, um, Shaders Patch and uh, Content Manager as a whole bring to, the, to all creators, I specifically want to show uh, a different camera than I normally feature, specifically to try and show off as much of the track as possible. And also, I've noticed that the standard liveries you get with this mod, and I'll have a link to this mod in the description, ha have very solid, um, their sun visor uh, uh, stickers across the top of the windscreen. So in VR, you get a very narrow view, and I found that the um, the 2D, the normal 2D version gives you a much, much higher sense of speed, especially get that I have an average computer that uh, doesn't give as high a frame rates in VR as a, as a powerful one does. So just for this occasion, I'm going to show 
most of the lap in uh, non-VR or 2D and just show the VR at the very end. And so the second and final bit of info is that I attempted this uh, as a one-off, but it's, it probably took three or four goes, but definitely no more than five. And I was surprised that it didn't seem like a lot of people have driven this car and track combination, which really surprises me because I think this car suits this track so well. So um, given that I came second, and I'll say that up front, but uh, no doubt if I have no doubt at all that if I took a whole afternoon and really got um, in the zone with the car I could get the world record so I'm saying to all of you if you want to try and see if you can beat me or just add a few more uh, records RSR world records to uh, this car and track combination please by all me means download it and have a go because I, I really want the uh, competition and I do have to say, as a creator, that's the only frustration is I, I've been so happy with the cars that I've bought from both VRC and RSS. Uh, the only trouble with being paid mods is there's not a lot of people uh, doing sort of records, especially on RSR, where you can actually have that competition type um situation similar to the challenges that Assetto Corsa has by default within the game. So uh, it's that's the only shame is I, I wish I've always liked trying to test myself against others. So like I said, if you think you like this car and, and you like the Nordschleifer, please give it a go and see if you can um, catch me or beat me and, and then I can try and beat you back again later on just to have that uh, challenge to go back in this car and track combination. So now let's go hot lapping. So this is Michael signing out for Single Racer. I'll catch you next time. See you later and let's go hot lapping.
Okay folks, so I'm recording this vocal over the only live bit that I recorded and uh, when you're um, the only other person, it shows you as last. So there must have been other people and I've just done a sensational time. Uh, but all kidding aside, I definitely want that world record. So uh, if you're interested, please have a go and see if you can beat my time. Okay, see ya.